Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the recap of Evolution Night 1 2010. My name is Dean Olsen. If you were here, you know how great it was. And if you weren't, well, here's what you missed out on. We kicked things off with a 2010 Invitational Tournament qualifying match. It was a three-way between Carlo Cannon, all the way back from Melbourne, Chris Bias, and also Marcus Pitt, the Golden Greek. What a hard-fought matchup that was. You need to work with. Work with one of the guys and... Oh, suplex! The interesting part about this match is... Oh, super kick! From He's gonna move away! That's it! That's it! But it was Carlo Cannon who got the first pinfall and advance on in the Invitational Tournament. Then it was down to the Golden Greek Marcus Pitt and Chris Vice fighting it out to see who would be the next man to advance in the tournament. x Mariner! No. F5! Then with an F5, Marcus Pitt got the victory and he is the second man to qualify for the 2010 Invitational Tournament. Next up was the third on a series of matchups between Adam Banks and Hollywood, Kyle Steria. The match went back and forth and was anyone's for the taking. Wow, I uh... Oh, no! Banks a massive dive! Oh. The Banks, that's a true veteran at its best. Back. And with the absence of William Darcy, some mystery man came out of the crowd with a distraction. And that distraction allowed Hollywood Carl Sterrett to nail Adam Banks with the angel wings for the victory. Scott! Oh! Face no. no. Next up was tag team action. The number one contenders for the EPW tag titles, AZ Vergara and Damien Slate. Wait a second. Step aside and let a true tag team talk about this match. This was a truly epic match. Damien Slater and AZ Vergara, the number one contenders. Demolishing Ferguson Block and Gavin McGavin. Uh, the best test they need right now, they need a tag team match and what better to take on than Ferguson blocks out of his socket. Wow. Beautifully done, arm drag. An opportunity that they take, that, well, to take a risk, might be distracted by uh, Gavin, Gavin or wow. so many unique tag team manoeuvres displayed by Slater and AZ Vergara. The back of the book. Oh, Death Valley Driver! He nails this. Obviously, in the end, Damien Slater and AZ Vergara scoring the pinfall victory over McGavin. This match is over. Number one contender. Next up, we had an epic gauntlet match pitting Sebastian Sander first off against Tyler Jacobs. <laughs> Jacobs, he's a strong man. He realizes he's going to use oh. a different tactic. When Oh. Like a rhino running straight in. This is going to be spectacular. Shot elbow drop from Jacobs before. Oh. It's going to be over the head, belly to belly. About two millimeters short of doing just that. It's a very jackhammer. Jackhammer down goes Tyler Jacobs. One, two. Sebastian Sander smashed his way through Tyler Jacobs and it came down to one-on-one -on -one for the first time. Sebastian Sander and Richter. Tyler Jacobs, Tyler Jacobs and surely the link. I don't think I'm going to carry this on a beach. Richter has been counted out. Richter has been eliminated. We had Richter getting counted out. And not too long after JT entering into the match, we had Sebastian Sander counted out as well due to the interference of Richter. These two men looking for bloodshed on one another. Then we had JT and Bobby Marshall going at it. Pummel JT, just pummel him. Did not match power with this man. It needs to work well. Oh. Oh. But he takes risks. He looks for that counter. Back and forth, and you are you go for hell. Oh. One big impact move after another, and in the end, it took a massive top rope cutter from JT to finish off Bobby Marshall. Next up, we had an epic six man tag team match. We had the EPW tag team champions, Mikey Nichols and Shane Hayes, and the current Hardcore Shield champion. Chase Griffin taking on the team of Sex Rock. 
and Dan Moore. Last match, Dan Moore getting pinned by former EPW Tag Team Champions. And <laughs> Shane, huh? Tag has been made. Mikey is now the... the oh. Oh. oh, the team right here. As you can see, and... Whoa, what a... Jonah Rock. Of course we know that. We are fundamental. Oh, Give me the face. Oh, Jono. Now. Oh, that's yes. The double team maneuver. Now it's a six. Rock drop. Shane Hayes. 13. Yes. One move after another. Oh. He's come back. Lariat. Got him, buddy. Oh, backdrop driver by Jonah Rock. That's his finishing move. Shane Hayes after taking that in the sex rock drop. It's got to be out. Good God, everybody. It's... Oh. But in the end, Dan Moore getting his head kicked clean off thanks to a double team manoeuvre of Mikey Nichols and Shane Hayes. Next match, we continue the rivalry between Team All Star and the Blackest Hour when we had Michael Morleone taking on Devlin Reeves. EPW champion Griffith, uh, drove hey, This is an interesting yeah. matchup right here, right? Oh. Oh. Sure. By the looks of things, it looked like it was a plan all along by the Blackest Hour to isolate Team All-Star members, Big Vin Ben Hero and Michael Morleone. All-Star, where it hurts, right at the heart, and the heart They're gonna eat his Star. brains! They're gonna eat him! Part of Team All-Star is with me. But Sebastian Sander, the team captain, came out, made the save, steel chair in hand, and actually made Richter back off. Break the backs off! I don't believe what I've seen. And this leads to our main event, the first time ever, Jamie Jura, the EPW champion, taking on Davis, the Iron Man Storm. Dick. Look out! Look out! Oh, it goes Jura! Oh, look at that! Tempest beginning to take a run to the outside. No, Storm from Scadden. Ah, oh, that time. Fancy entices. Jamie's up the top. And... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the beautiful... Oh, here comes Storm! Fence there, Bruce Barry. Uh, oh, kick to the first got Jura lined up for something. Oh, kick to the head. Oh. Oh. Double. Oh, double. It's not going to happen. I mean, the guy's knee is completely shot. Oh. Off one leg. Storm off the ropes. Yakuza kick. And trip. Oh, shining lizard. Shining lizard. Brocket. Back and forth action. Point to the head. Oh! I'm the storm! That's it. This match went the full 30 minutes, ending in a draw. No decisive victor. The fans chanted for five more minutes. But Jamie Jura had some words of his own for the EPW fans. Do you all want to see five more minutes? Well, I'm sorry to inform you that I have fulfilled my contractual obligations to EPW. There will not be five more minutes. There will be no more minutes. If you want another shot at my EPW title, I suggest that you earn it. Evolution Night 1 is over, but hell or high water, July 10th, we're gonna see a resolution to David Storm and Jamie Jura. What will be one of the most talked about rematches in Australian wrestling? David Storm will go one on one once again with the EPW champion, Jamie Jura. There must be a winner.